Hello, this is Tov from Trifle Production with another Blender quick tip. And in this quick tip, I'm going to show you all how to easily uh, create damage, as you can see from uh, this title of this add on one click damage, how to create damage on an object easily and quickly in Blender uh, with this very simple add on. This I think it's the same guy that made the uh, cracker add on, and it's pretty helpful. Um, I think this is for 2.93, but I'm using it in 2.92, and it works fine. And it's still the same process. Go to edit in terms of installing it. I'll leave a link of it uh, in the description below this video. It's the same process still for installing it in Blender. Go to edit, preferences. Go let that come up and just click on install. And just navigate to where you've installed it or downloaded it onto your system. Click on install that on. I've already done it, so I don't have to do that part. And then when you've done that, let's type it in. Let me see. One. Maybe it's OCD. O C D. There it is. And you just put a check in the box and it's activated. It's very, very simple. Uh, you click on whatever object you have in your scene. Uh, you activate it, left click on it. Make sure it's surrounded by the orange outline and click on make damage. And it's that simple, it, it creates the damage automatically. Uh, you can increase the amount of damage with this parameter, increase the scale of the damage. Obviously if you turn these up too much it's going to really mess up your model. So you just want to keep it you know, at a reasonable amount. You can change what kind of damage it is by the noise type, muse grave, change it to blend, it gives you different results. Clouds, you can turn it to distorted noise. It's got all these options in which work great. Now let's see what it does with the more advanced uh, detailed model. Let's click delete on here. Let's import Suzanne Shift A. Go to Mesh. And we're going to go to Monkey. We're going to increase the subdivisions by going to the uh, subdivision options, which is located in the modifiers tab. So click on subdivisions. Crank it up to two and then click apply. Let's press W to smooth it out. Let's see what it does to Suzanne. This is a more advanced model than the cube. Click on make damage. It does a pretty good job there. Because I always test add-ons to make sure that they work properly and, and see how far they can go when it comes to applying the, to different models in the scene. And you can choose whatever uh, options you'd want in terms of the noise type. And it still does a good job at eliminating the whole eye there, but it's going to turn it down a little bit and let's see what that does kind of brings back some of it so yeah now I'm going to really test it by applying the one click damage uh, add-on or option I guess you can call it onto a model that I've made I'm going to close out blender here don't save and now uh, I've been working on this model I've already finished it it's on uh, CG Society you can see the final results on there when you click on Go to trifleproductions.org and you click on the link below on the bottom uh, of the website where you see CG Society. You can click on that to see the, the end product of this pillar that I've, I've worked on. Now I want to apply the one click damage add on to this pillar and let's see what happens. Let's see if it actually does a good job. You can see it's been subdivided properly, evenly. I always try to keep the subdivisions clean. Now I'm going to apply the modifier to eliminate any kind of complications that could occur from the modifiers being present and not applied to the model. Let's click on one click damage and let's see what it does to the pillar. Oh, that pretty much eliminates the pillar altogether. Uh, maybe if we change some, change the uh, noise type, maybe that'll give us different results. Nope. Nope, let's turn down the amount. Okay, so I guess this is where uh, there may be some limitations in the add-on. Apparently it doesn't really uh, work on all models the way you would think. 
because uh, this pillar is pretty much just gone. But um, it does work on, I guess, you just, just trial and error, just apply it to different models that you create and see what it can do uh, for your models in terms of damaging the models. So apparently it works on the cube, that which is what we saw previously, and it works on also uh, Suzanne the monkey. It doesn't work on the pillar so well. Let me click on that and let me let's see. Let's add. Let's apply all of these modifiers. Let's see if it works on uh, these sets of bricks that I've created over here. Apply all. Make damage. Oh, let's see. Turn down. Turn to a different blend mode. Clouds. Okay, so uh, so it does work to some extent. So it does work on some parts, on some models, and not on others. But for the most part, it does. When it does work, it does a pretty good job. You can see that it's got cracks in the uh, in these bricks that I've had that I've created on the side of our archway here. <clears throat> Excuse me. So there, it does a good job when it does work or when it wants to work. So that's uh, the one-click damage add-on, and, and it also can you can apply it to a model and export it also. So let's let's see that. Let's see us. Let's see if it'll do that also. Uh, new. Whenever I uh, do add-ons or test add-ons, always make sure that I actually uh, test them as far as possible in terms of what they can do. Make damage on this one. Let's apply all, and then I'm going to export this as an OBJ and see if we, we can import it into a lower version of Blender, because that would be helpful if we could. I'm going to go to a file, exports. You see, uh, exports as a an object. Selection only. I'm going to go to the desktop. And title this damaged uh, block. Export OBJ. I'm going to open up Blender 2.79 this time because we're going to just see how, how we can import it back into another another version of Blender. Because we can also use this as it is if we can import it as an OBJ object. Use it in like 3ds Max or Maya. Let's delete that and file import uh, wavefront object desktop. Let's hope this works yeah, and it does. Okay, so that's that's a good deal. So yeah, this is the uh, a full overview of the one-click damage add-on, which is primarily for Blender 2.93, but you can use it in, in 2.92. And you can export it as an OBJ object, your model as an OBJ, OBJ object, uh, once you've applied the one click damage add on to it and you've applied all the uh, modifiers. But it doesn't work on all models as we saw. It's on the column or the pillar that I uh, uh, tested it on in my other scene. But other than that, it's a pretty good add on. So uh, hopefully, this is a helpful tutorial or. Um, a quick tip for those of you who are watching once again thank you guys who have subscribed in the past those of you who are subscribing now and those of you who are subscribing in the future really appreciate you guys and i'll see you guys on the next one all right adios